Hi, I'm Rajesh and welcome to another edition of Vlogging with Rajesh G. How are you guys doing today? I hope all of you doing great and I hope it continues that way. You know, few Secret Santa games are most memorable because they leave an impact to your life. And a couple of years ago, I had one such Secret Santa game which was played in one of my previous organizations. And this year, somebody superseded that benchmark which was put then. You'd be wondering what has happened, what would have happened this year with me. So I'll narrate it to you as we move forward. So since this organization was pretty new, so I was not very sure should I participate in the game or should I not participate in the game. And before I could, you know, reach on to a conclusion, my name was in the bowl and I didn't had a choice but to play the game. So you'd be wondering what it, what happened after that. So this year it was special because of two reasons. First, the person who got my name, I got her name as my secret Santa. Second thing, the place where the gift was placed for me was the most unimaginable place, especially for me because we uh, usually in the office, the game was like, you know, you will place the uh, gifts either on a common box or on the desk of the concerned person. And in my case, it didn't happen at either of the two places. Usually what happens, you know, when I enter the office, I hand over my car keys to security and take it in the evening when I'm coming back. And there are some days wherein, you know, you take the car keys with you. So it was one of those days wherein, you know, I took the keys with me and evening when I came back and I opened the car's door, I see a gift waiting for me at the seat. I was like, what? Who can place the gift here? I was really very happy. But the first thing was like, it was also a security breach for me. So I checked with the security guy and they said, sir, we have no idea. And once he said he had no idea, I was convinced of few things. First thing, this person is really very smart. This person can influence the people of my department. And this can't be done unless uh, the, this concerned person as well as the members of my department are united together in this effort to make me feel special. You'll be wondering why reason uh, they have to take the car keys and place it back before I come to my desk. So for that, everybody has to be in tangent. And see, these people did all these things and I had literally no clue of what was happening around. So you'll be wondering what I was doing throughout the day. You know, everybody's gift was placed on the table and they were like, you know, I got this gift. I got this gift. And I was like, and I was looking at my table. So every day, you know, sometimes intentionally also I would go out. Okay, maybe somebody would place a gift on my table, but nothing like that happened. So I was like, okay, maybe I may not get this. I may not get a uh, gift this year. But I was such a big dumb guy because my gift was already placed somewhere. The only thing was that I have not reached to that gift. And more than anything else, you know, the effort which was taken by that person to place that gift there really, really touched my hand, heart and for that I'm really grateful to her. Because you know, usually people's gifts are kept on the table but placing a gift in somebody's car knowing that this place will never be checked by them really, uh, you know, brings one more thing that this person really, really wanted to make me feel special and wanted this secret Santa of mine, the most memorable one than any other. So one thing was very sure that my secret Santa was very smart, smarter than me. So I had to be extra smart than her to figure out who this person was. So it so happened that, you know, the very next day when we were coming to office, I saw that person coming to office with a particular gift wrapping pack. And it was the same gift wrapping pack in which my gift was kept. So I had a vague idea that, you know, this would be my secret Santa. And when I, you know, connected all the dots, because by then I had become an investigator and I was trying to get all the clues. So when I joined all the dots, one thing was clear that, you know, this person can do this because that person can, you know, easily convince people. Everybody would listen to her. And thirdly, she knew that, you know, if she opens my car also, I will not mind. So she was the perfect, uh, you know, suspect for me, but I still wanted to do a bit more of investigation from my end. 
So for that, you know, what I did was like, I started prodding people in my department, checking with them, not directly, but indirectly. And I got some clues. And after that, I the circle was complete for me that yes, this was the person who actually tried to make it special for me. So what should I do next? I should also make her or give that person some very amazing gift. So it so happened, you know, sometime back we were having a conversation and she vaguely told me, you know, this is something which I'm looking forward to, but I have not been able to get it. So all of a sudden that conversation struck my thought and I said, okay, today on the way back home, I will try to find that uh, particular item at shops because she also told me where that uh, particular item can be procured from. So I went to two or three shops. I, there was no success for me, but at the third shop, I got exactly what she wanted. So I had bought it. I had gift wrapped it. I didn't want it to give you give her any clue that you know from which shop I have gift wrapped. Uh, I have bought that gift, and so the gift wrapping has to be very meticulous, unlike her, which through which she gave me a clue. And after that came the most important task that was you know get it placed to her desk and again I had to influence somebody from my department I got hold of somebody as that concerned person to place it on her table and that you know I did all those things a day before so that next day morning she uh, if that person goes she may get a clue that you know I have done it I did all my homework and the gift was placed on her desk and I made a conscious effort not to visit her in the first half because she's she's smarter than me and I was very sure that she will get hold of me. But despite all the efforts and precautions which I took, she caught me. The moment I went to her desk, she said, thank you, Rajesh. I'm like, for what? Thanks for the gift which you gave. I said, I didn't give you any gift. But you know, I did a small mistake. It was like the third shop where I went and when I was stepping out of that shop, she was about to enter that shop to buy something and she had seen me with that gift wrapping. So she knew it was me, but I didn't accept or I didn't agree to it. I said, no, 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 you would have seen somebody else. I had given, I have bought that gift for somebody else. So she told, uh, she also, okay, she didn't want it to, you know, get into an argumentative mode and all those things because she was really very happy with the effort that I took. So that was how I celebrated uh, my Secret Santa game in this new organization and let me tell you, it was the most memorable one for me. You can also share your stories of the most memorable Secret Santa in the comment section. So I hope uh, this video was entertaining for you. If that's the case, like the video, share the video, post your thoughts in the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So until my next video, bye-bye, take care and spread the power of positivity around you.